Adam Learner of BrooklynPhotoWorks.com and today we are back in Flash Basics Off Camera Flash. And what I want to show you guys today is the flash to background distance and how it will change the look and the light on our background. So naturally, when we're going to have our flash and our subject this close to the background, the flash is going to push a lot of light on that background and it's going to light that background up and we're going to get that light gray color of the backdrop that we're utilizing. As we start moving away from the background, keeping our flash power and our flash to subject distance the same, which I will show you guys, the light on the background will start to drop off to the point where it will get dark enough that it'll be almost black, which will give us more drama in our photos. Because what happens, particularly when we're using a tiny little light source like this, is that the light falls off. It's just the natural property of light is that light falls off dramatically. So what that means is that when the flash bursts, you're going to have a power of light that's going to probably be, you know, in a sweet spot about three or so feet from the light to our subject. And then as soon as it goes beyond that, it'll dramatically fall off. And we will see that as we shoot with our background. So here we go. So as you guys can see, I've got the umbrella. It's about three feet from my subject. And um, she maybe take a little step back. All right, so we're about as close to the backdrop as we can. And um, yeah, we'll take our shot and we'll take a look. Boom. Nice, good exposure. Um, we've got some nice drama. We've got uh, off axis light, so it's really lighting, you know, mostly like the front of her face, the side of her face, and it's falling off on the side of her face. Really nice flattering look, gives dimension and shape. So now let's start moving away from our backdrop. And oh, and our backdrop is really nicely lit. So now let's take about a three foot step forward, maybe six feet. Yeah, about there. That's great. Okay. And here we go. We're going to do the same exact shot almost, close as possible. Boom. Okay. Our background is now more of a medium gray from a light gray. It still has a really nice tone to it, but it's gotten darker. So now there's more separation from my subject to my background, and I've also got I've achieved a different look. So let's keep going. Take another six feet or so. Up there. Terrific. Excellent. Now our background is a really, really dark gray. And it, it, I love the look of this. I like that really dark background. But what we've done is we've taken a light gray backdrop and we've turned it into a dark gray backdrop. Let's try to see if we can go even darker, okay? Wow, our backdrop looks almost black. In fact, you know what, while we're at it, let's just try to make that thing black. Let's go as far back as we can, right here. Take a little step to me, you're kind of in the band of light from the window. Yeah, right there. All right, here we go. All right. Awesome. So now it almost looks like the background is completely black. So there you go, guys. That is a very, very simple exercise. So what this means is that when you guys are doing your flash photography, you can consider your, your subject's distance to your background or in your light's distance to your background. I kept the flash to subject distance constant the entire time, which meant that my flash was approximately three feet from my subject and I just moved my subject and my flash up and down the set. And by doing so, I was able to achieve a different look. The interesting thing is that the actual exposure does not change. It looks different because there's less ambient light, there's less light reflecting back from my background into the frame. So the, the, the uh, exposure looks brighter when we're closer, closer, but my flash exposure actually stays exactly the same. How cool is that? So there you go, guys. That's it for now. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll see you soon. 
If you guys are looking to learn more about flash photography, check out the Fronos Photo Beginner Flash Guide. This is an awesome three plus hour video guide where we start at the very beginning. We take you through the fundamentals of flash photography and show you every step of the way. Then we take you along for live photo shoots and we show you all of our settings and the mentality that we use to get behind the photos. It's awesome. So again, check out fronosphoto.com slash flash guide to learn a lot more.